Tonight I came in here and did uh, some pad rounds with my boxing coach, just working some rhythms, some timing stuff, and then we build up from round one all the way up to round five. I feel good this camp. My body feels great. I feel strong. My cardio and stuff has been the best that it's ever been because we've been preparing to train at high altitude, and that just overall like makes me feel like a better person. You training for a fight? Yeah. yeah. Over 19. The first day we got to this gym, uh, Rise Boxing, I saw this kid there and he's always working hard. I, I mean, every time I walk in, he's like, he's either got like a jump rope in his hands or he's just kind of hanging around. He just like made an impression on me. So today I saw him sitting in the lobby, not doing anything. So I saw him out of the corner of my eye in the middle of my pad session and just told him to come sit with us. He actually packs a punch. <laughs> he packs a solid punch. Only 12 years old. How sick is that? Gary, 30 seconds or less. He got faster. And it was fun. Yeah, of course. Yo! Let's go! We're at uh, Valley Full of Striking in Chicago, uh, home of the champions, getting Juliana ready for the fight in Utah. This is the last week, so it's just more so getting reps in, getting uh, you know timing right, making sure they're healthy, making it the fight day is the, the goal now. You move forward? People forget she beat the GOAT, right? She dominated her, she finished her, the only person to, to beat her the way she did, when nobody expected her to do that. So even now, there's still doubters. Juliana has been wanting this fight for a while, she's been calling for this fight for a while. She has the heart of a lion, heart of a champion, and I think that she's the best woman in the world, and she's gonna show it this weekend. The fans can expect my coaches to let the dog off of the chain. And um, I think that everybody knows that kind of about me. Is All you got to do is just wind me up and, and, and set me free and the rest will take care of itself. So, um, you know, I'm always game. As soon as that cage door closes, I'm going to do everything that I can to get my hand raised and become a Penny two-time world champ. Good. Dive. Hands up. I tried to just get, go outside, be outside, get, get in nature, connect with God and his beautiful creation and just soak it all up. Insert fighter on top of mountain, shadow boxing. <laughs> yeah, brings me peace, kind of like the calm before the storm. You know, fight week's about to start. It's gonna be a lot of media, a lot of running around, a lot of fancy clothes and yapping, so just to quiet the mind and, and connect with nature and with God is, it's good for the soul. All right, we are in Park City, which is a little higher up from Salt Lake. We are getting some disc golfing in right now. Ooh, what a toss. Hopefully we'll find it. Let's go, Weston. Hey, not bad. Son of a! Back home, it's like grass, you know? Where I got my sandals on. By the end of this, my feet are gonna be dirty. Let's see what I can do here. See if I can work my magic. Go left, go left. Oh, right there, baby. That was absolute money. If only I'd have done that from the start. What's digging these holes? Groundhogs or something? Let's go, baby. Ah. So this is the first time in a long time, and we got to do it in Utah, beautiful weather, and we had a good time. He killed it. Tonight, last sparring session. This week, we did three uh, sparring sessions, and I think it's the last uh, hard day for this camp for me. You're like, come on, but let me get this started. <laughs> He's like, why you going down to 170? I'm going to be. I'm going down to 170. And what's one of the fighters? I was. Right. I was. Past tense. Yeah. See? I don't even need to do anything to scare. Just be big. It's good, man. It's a world-class fighter right there. He hits really hard. Has some nice awkward elbows. I was calling him John Jones elbows while I was in there. All the couch sitters talking about, you know, the UFC pros on there. That power is real. Good Five, one, two, seven, eight. 
Three, take it. Four, five. Okay. Training is done. There is a true life. Hard life, good life. We are in the beautiful Park City, Utah, and we are having a steak dinner. I always look forward to the last dinner of kind of fight camp, training camp, you know, a little treat to kind of bring some, some good energy and go into fight week strong. My wife would kill me if this was filmed and showed this cheers, because it's apparently bad luck to cheers water. Each fight camp, you know, what we do is we work, have a really hard workout about eight days out, and then we kind of look where our weight's at. And so when we figure out where our weight's at, we feel real good about ourselves. What we don't want to do is lose our energy levels. So it's just all about us uh, getting together as a team and having fun and, and celebrating the week the week that comes. He's a light heavyweight, getting ready for a light heavyweight championship in the UFC. Okay. I fight for the championship. Delta Center. Delta Center, Saturday, yes. No, I don't manage anything. I can't even manage myself. <laughs> yeah, I have a hard time managing myself. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy. É um dia tranquilo. Não tem treino hoje, descansar. Esse dia aqui tranquilo faz parte do treino, né? O descanso faz parte do treino. Olha só, maravilha de Deus aí, ó. Ah, isso é divertido, ó. With you real quick. Well, thank you, bro. Good luck. I know that man. I know that man. He's gonna lose his mind. Thank you. Thank you. Quem sou eu? Who I am? Yeah, you. Who I am? Alex Pereira. What about this guy? Junior Dos Santos. You got it. I know. I know. Oh, one photo. One photo. Make one photo. What's wrong? Oh no! Você comeu lá na casa, pô? Ah! Pô, tô, eu não posso comer esses bagulho aí não. Cheio de sal essa p. Dá uma segurada. Tranquilinho, tranquilinho. Pô, maravilhoso. Família, time. Todo mundo feliz, empolgado. Pô, é isso. Fazer o que eu gosto, né? lutar. Mais uma vitória, chama.